All right, guys, we're out at Sabrina's mom and dad's house. Um, we're gonna be pulling this air conditioner unit up. We'll put a new pad down on the ground. Um, <clears throat> new condenser sitting on top of it. A new disconnect box there on the wall with an electrical whip going into the unit. Um, and then I'm not sure about the refrigerant lines yet, but we got a 95% efficient furnace that's right on the other side of this wall. So depending on uh, how easy they are to access, we may just replace the refrigerant lines and get new ones put in. That should be everything on the outside. Next will be inside. All right guys, here's the furnace and coil over at Sabrina's parents' house. We're gonna pull this furnace out with the coil on top of it. Um, we're gonna reuse the existing return drop here. We'll put a, um, we'll, we'll do a little bit of an upsize down here on the bottom. So we'll, we'll widen it up so we can put our five inch media filter in. <clears throat> um, new furnace connect to the existing condensate drain line. It runs down here and then goes around right back behind the furnace and into the wall through the crawl space. Um, we'll reuse the existing gas line. This is an LP furnace, so we'll have to make sure we have a conversion kit. We're gonna change out the refrigerant lines. So our refrigerant lines run from the front of the unit. They kind of arch up here and then go back down and around into the wall right there. And then they travel through this closet and they go directly outside. We're just gonna go ahead and replace those. Um, our flue will stay, we'll, we'll tie onto the existing flue. So we have two inch for our intake and we have three inch for our exhaust. And then we'll run new condensate drain line from the bottom of that or make sure it's all cleared out from the bottom of that down into the existing condensate line. It's kind of your once over there. Um, so down here at the bottom of the furnace, we'll make a little bit bigger box for our, our furniture, our filter rack. Next will be the breaker panel. Here's our breaker panel. Um, it's not labeled as far as what kind it is. There's your 30 amp breaker for the air conditioner. And then I'm going to get a close up of the 100 amp breaker. So you know what kind to get. That should be everything.